Hi, welcome to McGregor Elementary. My name is Cheryl Hensley, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my Blue Bonnet program that I have at McGregor. Are you aware of the Blue Bonnet books that we have for TLA? The books are 20 books that they have every year. They're brand new, and they have all different kinds of genres. But the reason we're trying to do this this year is because we want to read five and then decide. The kids will get to read all the books that they like, choose the ones they want to read, and they get to vote when they come to Bluebonnet Breakfast. But I make it a bigger deal. They get a special invitation. A special invitation to come on the last Friday in January when they get to come and have a Bluebonnet Breakfast. This is the, uh, one of the examples of the bulletin board that I put up at the beginning of January so they get a reminder of all the books that are on the Bluebonnet list, making sure they get ready to, if they've read five, then they can decide who is the winner for the state of Texas. One of the favorite things to do to get them all riled up is make sure that we sing in our favorite song, Deep in the Heart of Texas, where they all come in and we make sure the teachers are up front leading it on to Deep in the Heart of Texas. One of the fun activities they do when they come to Blue Bonnet Breakfast is name that book. And this is just a reminder of all the Blue Bonnet books that they've read for the year. I get one object per book and put it in my special bag and pull out one at a time. And they've got to be able to name that book. Mountain Dog. Grandfather Gandhi. Night Gardener. It doesn't matter if it's the same or if it's in the book as long as it's a representation of that book. After we finish voting, we put all our votes in the ballots and we go over to the cafeteria where they have a blue bonnet breakfast and it consists of blueberry muffins and juice. They're always uh, eager to get over there. Plus, I do have a sponsor. Get, make sure you tap into every sponsor you can in the area. Half Price Bookstore has always been our sponsor where they will provide books for the kids. Every kid that comes in gets a book to take home for free because we're always trying to build up their home libraries. And they enjoy that and so they wait on their pins and needles to the next day when I announce who were the winners. And then we wait around to see who our winner was for the state of Texas. But I want them to keep to continue on to reading and enjoy every book that they read. The other thing we like to do is take my fifth graders who have read all 20 and they come in and they always have a reader's theater. I've done reader's theater with several of the old Blue Bonnet books, but my favorite is Comes Win, where they take the book and they act it out in front of all the kids. So it's always the kids who read all 20 that get to be in the reader's theater. The next thing we try to do is name that book. The kids, the top readers in each class, will get to come up to the front and be in a contest. It's called Texas Blue Bonnet Billionaire Contest. And I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like when my kids come in. By asking one quote from each of the books, they'll get to raise their hand and continue on in the competition. The more books you answer, the more farther you go in the contest. We get quotes like, on the basketball court, he was known as Hercules, named that book. Told y'all this was my lucky hat, he says, named that book. This gets kids ready for the Name That Book competition that we have in Houston ISD at the end of February. Another thing we like to do is always recognize our kids who have read all 20. I call the kids up who have read all 20 and we give them a certificate that I've bought through to the TLA and it actually recognizes the kids for reading all 20. Then in addition to that we have a literature lanyard with a medal that they receive for reading all 20. The kids usually have a lot of fun. This has grown from a very small breakfast, intimate breakfast, where we had only like 25 who showed up, to now I've had over 250 that get to come in and vote. And I've actually expanded it, so I've had two different breakfasts. The other thing that I love to do is I like to recognize my teachers. I wouldn't be able to do this program without my teachers. So I always make sure that I have something special for them special little book, maybe a book for next year's Blue Bonnet, making sure that I have a handwritten card for them to make sure that they know that I appreciate everything they do. A lot of the teachers make sure that every kid in their classroom come to the Blue Bonnet breakfast. And this has been a tradition for one of my third grade teachers. She reads some of the harder books to them, the chapter books to try and get them through it, but experiencing all the different kinds of literatures that are in the Blue Bonnet books, plus making sure that uh, they read all the chapter book or the picture books and they're able to come in and make a good vote. The last thing we do is vote. I print out the ballots from this 
provided to you from the TLA website. Vote for their favorite books. Now, I do have to say that my kids vote all over the board. Sometimes I think that their favorite book is going to be one of my books, and uh, I never try to influence them. I let them choose because I think if they read five, then they decide. I have my third graders pick something, and my fourth graders usually pick something different. My fifth grade picks something different. But overall, this year we had a winner of the Always Abigail, which was a chapter book. The winner for this year for TLA was the beat, when the beat was born, which my kids liked it too because we are a music magnet. This is going to be a little bit an example of what it's like for the Texas Blue Bonnet Billionaire Contest that we have at our breakfast. Are you ready? No. I need all hats to the side. First one to raise their hat with the correct answer will be going on to the next round. Question number one. Here's what you need to remember. Women who make you laugh, who make you think, and who also happen to wear an Oh, uh, was that for the goldfish? And that's incorrect. Listen to the quote again. Here's what you need to remember. Women who make you laugh, who make you think, who also happen to wear yellow flowers in their hair. Sarah. It's magic. Correct. Can you squat down right there? Next question. I know what the assignment is. I think I can help. Name that book. Anala. From Texas for the life. Incorrect. Oh, He's next. 14 bullets? Nope. Yes? Abigail? Nope. Let's go on to the next question. We'll just skip that one and go to the next question. Rules are rules. Abraham. What? Nope. Oliver. That is correct. Squat down. Next quote. I'm as tall as can be and I'm as short as can be. Abraham. Phantom soul. Oh. Correct. Squat down. Need one more person to go on to the next round. Papa, the book you wrote is better than these. Anila. No, Jenny's these stories. That's correct. <laughs> For each of the winners, they all receive a consolation prize which they will get after the contest. Go ahead and have a seat if you're not going on to the next round. Scoot in, let's go on to the next round. First two to go on, first two to answer correctly will go on to the next round. How are my New York grandbabies? Anila. Bronco dreaming. That's correct. Squat down right there. Next quote. Sometimes you have to go for a walk to look for the good stuff. Oliver? Scrap. That's correct. Have a seat. Congratulations. You guys are winners for this sec. You answer the first question, but then you have to answer the next question to be the winner. Are you ready? Why don't you ever talk about him? Why don't you paint anymore? Anala? Sneaker of magic. That's correct. Now, Oliver, hold on, because she's got to answer the next question to be our finalist. Don't have to raise my hat. Yeah, no, you're all right. They're starting with Twister after this. If you leave now, you'll be the first in line. Skyjumpers. That's correct. 